another video, and uh, well, it's the last day of 2018. Uh, year went by pretty fast, <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, today I want to do a kind of a short video, I guess, uh, discussing the best cards, but best dinosaur cards, I mean, of 2018. Now I know 2017 brought us most of the cards, dinosaur cards we all love today, but there were a few. Um, there were like three dinosaur cards I found that were released this year that pretty much impacted the deck and the meta as well, um, pretty uh, greatly, and uh, just go just deserves to be on the said list. And uh, yeah, let's just stop talking and get into the said list now, shall we? Now, for number three, I had Reprodocus. Uh, Reprodocus is the Link 2 we all thought was going to be the dinosaur Link that really made the deck better, but turned out to be like a confusing, confusing mess at first when it got announced. I even made a video saying that it was a disappointment. But uh, without that, with all that being said, when it dropped in Cybernetic Horizon, it actually did a lot more than I thought it would, and I, and I will say right now I was wrong about the card I feel like I didn't give enough credit because it is a vital piece in a lot of meta decks right now and get into summon sorceress because it can allow it to change a monster under it the same type as him and they can go into summon sorceress pretty easily so yeah that pretty much the main reason why he's on here just because he's all over the meta and trying to make summon sorceress and just yeah prove me wrong and I think it proved a lot of people wrong at the end of the day because it, it got a super printing in the OTS pack for a reason because it's, well, just good, you know, and yeah, um, I will, like, say right now, I was wrong about you, Reprodocus, I was very wrong about you. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Reprodocus, amazing card in the meta right now and deserves to be at the number three slot. Now, number two, uh, will have, for me, will have to be Overtex Coatlas. Overtex Coatlas uh, pretty much put the bow around the whole dinosaur engine as a whole and made it complete. Uh, when it dropped in Extreme Force, it allowed us dino players to search pill, which was amazing because before Overtex, you know, we were running it at three or two and hoping to God we opened it or hoping to God we top deck it at the correct time. So, yeah, it just with this card, it allowed us to get search, uh, get the pill and search it into our hands straight away off of over after and also also gave us a cool monster to go into for clutch moments to get a time in the gate or just you know beat face with it because it was a pretty high attack monster as well so yeah it was just amazing also it was just you know just a perfect card to allow dinosaurs be melded into other decks like without this card should all dinosaurs would not be a thing i feel and same thing with thunder dragon dinos now they could very well be like you know a thing but they wouldn't be as consistent without this card i feel so because this card just enabled the, them to be consistent and get conductor out turn one and just yeah it just made those decks what for what they are and everything so coatless uh from top to bottom is a great dinosaur card and just pretty much helped dinosaurs get to that next level in 2018 to be a, a consistent rogue pick and a consistent uh meta, cont meta contender so yeah thank you overtex you made 2018 really fun for us they're searching all those pills now didn't he now yeah i don't know about you but i there might be one guy who searches big evolution pill but if you do do that i have some respect points for you <laughs> but uh yeah overtex amazing card helped dinosaurs a lot this year and just uh, is in the, just deserves to be a number two. Now, number one is a more recent card, and obviously another card I've talked about a lot is Dinosaur Pankertops. Again, what do I have to say about this card? It dropped just a few months ago in Soul Fusion. I feel no, not Soul Fusion. It was Flames. No, it was no, it was Soul Fusion. I was, I was right. I was. I'm an idiot. No, it was Soul Fusion. So dropped in Soul Fusion as a, com as a common, which to my dismay because I wanted it to be a super rare or a hollow in some kind but for some reason it became a common and right out of the gate just a, just as many predicted I feel became a staple in a lot of side decks and pretty much became an amazing going second option this card is an amazing just amazing with an effect of for cost you contribute itself target a card in the field and destroy it super simple but the fact that you can now pop floodgates with said card, you have an out to floodgates going second, 
it's just amazing. Uh, it helps a lot of decks get over like skill drain, anti spell, and just a lot of other fl annoying floodgates. And also helps get over some, like get get rid of a bunch of annoying monsters as well. So it also helped Dino Wrestlers be a little bit more popular. <laughs> it's the only like a main, it's like the main poster boy of that deck, and just. And not and to not and also if this card wasn't good enough it could be special off a pill which is hilarious so you could play pill get this out pop a card that's hilarious so yeah panker tops again like Coatlas, like just a well crafted card and helps helps dinosaurs and the meta as a whole that's why I have it at number one because it it, it was it's been used countless times in the meta and it's been in a like a many or a plethora of um, top decks over the last months or like in the last month or weeks or whatever so yeah ever since it got released it's been just everywhere so and yeah that's why i have a number one but yeah that's pretty much the video uh uh what do you guys think of the list i put together and crafted uh, i know it's been sl it was slim pickings pretty much because there wasn't really big any anything other than there wasn't like anything big for dinosaurs other than these three uh, so I will say that right now, but that doesn't mean we can't praise them for what they've done this year and the fact that they got released this year, I feel. So, but yeah, uh, I guess closing thoughts, uh, I will say thank you for everyone who has been watching this year and everyone who has subscribed this year. Uh, we've grown, I've like this channel has grown amazingly this whole year and uh, hopefully next year we can make it to a thousand. That'd be, that would be amazing. But, uh, and yeah, it just... None of this would have been possible without you guys, and hopefully we can continue this fun into 2019 and beyond. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a like comment, definitely subscribe. I shall see you guys next year in the next video. Have a nice day.